Keep calm and make pots. Make art, not war. Howdy folks. I'm back again here on the wheel. Let's make pots. <laughs> Actually, what I want to do, I thought I'd show you how I go about making an egg. An egg. Before I do, before I get started on this video, I have been asked to do a shout out to some potters in England, namely the West Forest Potters, and in particular, Ian Shields, who asked me to do this shout out. So big hello to all you of the West Forest Potters. West Forest, I'm not exactly sure exactly where that is in England, like maybe it's in the north of England, I'm not sure. But anyway, hi to all you guys, all you who are playing in the clay and having a fun day. All right, so West Forest Potters, keep practicing. Okay, so this video is gonna be, I'm gonna to try to make an egg because, oh, just by coincidence, I happened to, <laughs> I happened to see just here was so to make an egg this is a little small egg I think it's probably a robin's egg a, 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 an American robin's egg I should say which is different than the British robin but that is I believe a robin's egg now, if you look at it, you'll notice there's a lot of curves there. A lot of curves on that egg. You've got a curve here, you've got a very flat area here, flattish, but it's still curved. And then it goes around here to a point, doesn't it? It's actually quite a good exercise, you know, to try to replicate that in clay. Oh, oh dear. Maybe it doesn't smell too good, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> Accidentally sque squeezed it too hard. Anyway, let's just try to make, make an egg and we'll talk about it as we go. Oh, I need some water. Sorry. Just a bit of warm water to take the edge off, you know. We've got very good weather here actually in Pennsylvania at the moment. It's very, very mild for this time of year. I think we're gonna have 60 degrees today. Okay, so here goes. So I've got eight ounces of clay here. I'm gonna bring it up. It always helps to, I think, cone the clay up, even if it's a small, a small amount of clay, I find it very, it renders the clay much more pliable, much more obedient, if you like. Okay, so I'm just breaking in. So we're gonna gonna learn quite a lot, you see, from making an egg, because we're gonna use quite a lot of different skills here, apart from, of course, just being able to pull up the clay. And pretty much every, anything that you do small, you can repeat with larger amount of clay, you know? Okay, so it's just sort of like cylindrical pulling up. Okay, now I'm gonna sort of 
got to keep it in your mind's eye, you see an egg. An egg, if you think about an egg. When I was at school, we used to do, we used to have boiled eggs, you know, and, um, and then we would take our eggs in our egg cups after we'd eaten the boiled egg, you know, out of the, out of the shell, and we'd turn them round the other way, and then we'd push them against each other, you know, our neighbour, to see who would crunch first. I guess that's a crazy English thing. Americans may not understand that. But the one thing about an egg, you know, is that it has a kind of rounded end and then it, it sort of goes up and then it's slightly more pointed, isn't it, on the top? It's not, it's not exactly the same at each end. So this is, I'm trying to keep it in your mind's eye, you see. This is going to teach you about curves and also about somebody wanted to know recently how when i was doing that thing about the bud vase how to you know closing in the top but how to do it from a, a, a like a bud vase shape you know like with a belly and then coming in and then doing it because they have problem with that you see a lot of people have problem with that don't panic it's okay i did too once you see, every shape, every shape that you make has its own particular trick. <laughs> There's not a one size fits all with this. Every shape that you make, whether it's a, whether it's a tankard, whether it's forming the lip here, the collar, whether it's, whatever it is, whatever form, it has its own particular, you have to learn the knack how to do it. It's a trick, you see? So if you can't do it yet, don't panic. You'll learn that you just keep at it, learn the trick. So right now, you see, I've 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 formed the bottom part. Now I'm gonna keep it nice and wet here, and I'm going to with six points of contact, you see, like that. You've got to touch it in six places. One, two, three, four, five. Don't forget that one. Okay, six, okay. So I'm gonna I'm now gonna collar in, you see, like this. So when you collar in, the clay, as I explained before, slides over itself. It compresses. But in so doing, the clay wants to escape one way or the other, you know, it wants to find a, an escape route. So you've got to block it. That's why you need six points of contact. And as, it, as you do that, you notice it, it thickens, you see. The wall thickens here at the top as I, as I, as I bring it in, you see. Just recently I bought some eggs from a local Amish guy here. A whole flat of eggs, two and a half dozen of them. Double yokers. And the, the eggs were slightly elongated, it was strange. But every one was a double yoker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close it in, you see. You see what I'm doing? I'm closing it right in here. Now you wanna make sure you have clay that's well well kneaded and well wedged, you know, to be able to do this. So you see, you see how the egg is, is coming? Let's have a sip of coffee. Yeah. Is that an egg? It's coming. Well, of course, you can't finish the egg in its entirety in one hit, so to speak. You have to do 90% of it and then you... I'll explain as we go. Okay, so here, on the top here, I'm just going to now use my throwing stick just to clean it a bit. See, like this. Now at the moment it's a little bit pointed, isn't it? A little bit too pointed, so I'm just gonna... See, 
See, this teaches you, it trains your eye. You've got to train your eye to see four. I'm using my throwing stick to sharpen up the form and also, you see that? Remove that, that slurry, get it away. Okay, now I'm gonna go down here to the bottom. I've gotta be a bit careful now because whatever you do at the bottom of a pot gets magnified at the top of the pot. Do you know what I mean? Imagine this is your pot. If you stick a stick in at the base here too harshly or too vigorously, the top of the pot, a little movement at the bottom uh, results in a lot of movement at the top. You can completely knock your pot off center by being too, too vigorous at the base. So be a little bit gentle as you insert, insert the stick here. You see. Now the base of the the base of this egg because I when I cut it off I need to be able to put it down so it's got to sit on a flat base but it will be it will be it will be completely finished and rounded off. But I'll do it in my hands afterwards with my thumb. I'll be, I'll be working it over, you know, and getting it a nice, as it should be, you know, on, the, on that end of the egg. So I'm gonna get it in as narrow as I, as I dare at this stage. As I said, I can't get it too narrow, otherwise the thing's gonna go topply, you know. So the base here will be thumbed off. I was thinking these would be rather nice if they were burnished and then pit fired, you know? Absolutely black, shiny black pit fired, you know? Okay, I think that's as, as far as I'm gonna be able to get at the moment in the throwing phase. I've got a cutoff wire here, which is not a twisted. It's a monofilament, quite thin wire. And I'm gonna use this to cut it off, all right? So hold your wire. With your, with your thumbs down on the wheel head and keep the, the wire taut all the way through when you pull. Don't let it go slack, sort of like bring the ends together. And don't do that, keep it taut all the way as you cut through, okay? With the wheel going around slowly like this, enter the wire and straight through like that, okay? We'll get a little... We'll get a bat here, so put it on that bat. Just drying it, my fingertips a little. Okay, we're just gonna. See, now you've got to learn a lot about form by learning to throw an egg. It's gonna teach you a lot. Okay, it's going to teach you a lot about how to form a curve, a continuous curve. All right, so have a go. The, these, these are just eight ounce lumps. The idea is to make it hollow. I'm not trying to make the lightest egg in the universe. You know, it doesn't matter. So long as it's, so long as it's got an airspace in it. And, and before this gets fired, and as it's shrinking, 
I'm probably going to prick it with my needle tool because as the clay shrinks it compresses air inside it so you want to let that air out so there it is folks keep calm and lay eggs keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video West Forest Potters and Ian Shields Hello and goodbye and keep practicing.